Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Jen. And I'm Shane. And we are the Yambors. So today we have some very exciting news to share with you all. Very, <laughs> very. Um, so what we want to share with you guys is that we're pregnant. We're pregnant. <laughs> we are having a baby. Woo! <laughs> wow, this wow. is this is crazy. Very crazy. We, we've been together since we were 20 years old, and mm -hmm. now, 12 years later, we're having a baby. Mm -hmm. wow. We are having a little one. So, wow. um, you know, we thought that it would be really cool to document this experience. Um, obviously, this is our first time having a child, and so we wanted to take you all along this journey as we have conversations about our experience. So enjoy the journey enjoy the journey but yeah. this is not just our story but the story of pregnancy the story of trying to figure out how to manage this whole new life that we're gonna embark on and the ups the downs the anxieties the fears the challenges the success the excitement mm -hmm. we're gonna document it all and we're going to share our experiences and what we're thinking in the moment and thinking for the future and yeah. Just documenting it all and hoping that this adds value to relationships, first and foremost, but mm -hmm. also to future families, future husbands and wives that are looking to have their first child, second child, third child. And we're just having fun with this conversation, real authentic conversations mm -hmm. that we're sharing between us that we're hoping adds value to you. Yeah. So with that being said, we're very excited. We can't wait to take you guys along this journey. We don't know what to ex expect, so, we, you know, just sit in for a ride. That's all we can say. Hey, um, what do we say at the end of every... Enjoy the journey. Yeah, so enjoy we hope that you journey. guys enjoy the journey. And with that said, we are going to kick off the first episode. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. <laughs> we are having a baby. Woo. So October 7th, 2022. Mm-hmm. Our lives changed. Yes, yeah, significantly. <laughs> and it all started with a trip down to CVS. Well, we got to backtrack a little bit. Oh, okay. It Where's all the... started October 3rd when we were leaving Jamaica because that's when, you know, Aunt Flo was supposed to come into town. Oh, facts. <laughs> big facts. And it did not. And so I was like, mm, well, let me just give it another day or two. Maybe my body is just you know, doing something funky. Maybe it'll come a day or two later. And it did it. And so I was like, I don't know. She's normally not knocking on the door this late. So. And it's funny because when you said your period was late, I was like, eh, he'll be here. Like, yeah, we, you were so we, nonchalant we've about gone, it. We've gone through this before and it usually comes. Well, it always comes yeah. eventually. And uh, this time it did not. Well, no, normally my, my period is, it is very all over the place, um, but it's normally not late. Yeah. Like it may be late a day, but it's normally like it'll come like two weeks early or right, just right, like right. randomly all over the place like that. So to me, it was a little bit um, like different. Yeah, it was different. It just felt different this time around. So I was like, well, I don't know, because she's normally not late. She's mm. normally early to the party, but never late. <laughs> <laughs> So that right there alone, I was like, okay, I don't know. Um, and then I knew that we wanted to go out and hang out with some friends on Saturday, which would include, you know, us having some cocktails and having some fun. And so I was like, well, it's now October 5th. If it doesn't come by Friday, I think, you know, we need to go get a test. And oh, yeah. We were supposed to go on a boat yeah, on that Saturday. That Saturday. So yeah. I was like, well... If it doesn't come by Friday, I need to take a test because if I'm pregnant, I'm certainly not going to right, out on right, the boat and going to be right. drinking and stuff. So sure enough, October 7th, Friday rolls around, still no period. And we're like, OK, let's take a trip down to good old CVS. And so I wanted to be sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, And you wanted to be sure as well. Right. But I was like, get the digital. <laughs> I need to see clear as day, pregnant, not pregnant and get the one with the line. So, yeah. you know, we can be very sure. And so, you know, there was a lot of anxiety as there you was just kind of building up to it. I mean, I will say when we're going down and we're actually like, this is the move. Like we're mm -hmm. like, we're at the point where we're actually going down to get a pregnancy test. And yeah, I will say this is, that was like 
a shock because I mean, we, we never really got into that stage where it's like, okay, we, we actually might need to take a pregnancy test, Yeah. but we're here at this stage now we're walking down and yes, the heart is beat, beating fast. <laughs> Anxiety is like, whoa, like, wow, we're really here. So yeah. to me, honestly, it still didn't quite register that I could be pregnant. It was just like, but also at the same time, no, actually, I take that back. It did register to me that I could be pregnant because, again, like my period doesn't generally come late. Right. So I felt like I was kind of like mentally preparing myself a little bit for like, OK, this could potentially be a baby on the way. Right. So let me start to shift my mindset a little bit. But I still wasn't like sold on like 100 percent confirmation like this is happening. So right. um, when I when, you know, took the test. And you have to wait impatiently because I don't think anybody's waiting patiently for I a pregnancy know. test. I know. It was, um, it, that was a long two, three minutes. Yeah. And <laughs> when the test finished, that thing said clear as day. Clear Are you as, pregnant? <laughs> clear as day. It said in bold text, pregnant. <laughs> pregnant. No no two lies or one line. It just said straight up pregnant. And I remember just going like, oh. <laughs> I know. Your reaction. I wish... You know, I, I record a lot of things and I'm, I'm sure our followers and our viewers and definitely friends and family know that I always record and document everything yeah. with video and photo footage. Yes, very true. <laughs> <laughs> but I did not get this on camera. Uh, but it's OK, though, because I mean, I feel like it was a true intimate experience and just see like wow, like the excitement and just the shock and just yeah. like, whoa, like this is actually happening. Yeah. So when it said pregnant, clear as day, we both were just like, wow. Yeah, it was wow. definitely, like, it was shocking. We, it was we, shocking. We, we had to really just sit there and like process, like process it. Yeah. it. It took a couple of minutes like. This this is really happening. I was like, are we really about to be somebody's parents out <laughs> like, here? We like, really about to be? I'm about to be a father. You about to be a mother? <laughs> mother? <laughs> mother? <laughs> yeah. So it was it was it was very shocking. And then you know, once we had a few minutes to register, I remember we just like sat and we prayed on it. Right. And obviously, you know, we had had conversations, and our family and friends know this that we were always like very cool with the idea of not having children you right. know we were content with that idea um have a lot of nieces and nephews and so we felt like that kind of served us like all right it's cool like we're good being in the auntie and uncle space yeah. and but it's funny because <laughs> yeah you're right 100 percent. i mean and, and the thing is the best part is that we're both on the same page about it yeah we both were on the same page about kind of like we don't really we weren't really in the field of yeah we want kids yeah but i think that after a while the narrative did change a little bit because we were pretty like, no, we're for sure. We don't want kids. And then, and when we would have conversations with people, we would say that. But then, um, I would say maybe the past like few years, we would still say that, but we will always kind of be like, but you know, if it happens, if it's God's will, this is something that's going to happen. And I think God was like, Oh word, if right. it's my will, right. okay, then let it be. I, and so yeah. it was more so, of. Uh, I don't know, like once after we like prayed on it and of course it was like shocking and surprising because we weren't, you know, planning for children. It wasn't like, you know, some people actually prep and prepare for right. children and we weren't we weren't doing that. So it was definitely a surprise. But, you know, I also looked at it after we prayed that maybe God is setting something up where, you know, it's time to change the trajectory of the path that we're in, you Amen. know. And sometimes like things are bigger than us and beyond us. And I think that our plans are not always his plans. Exactly. And I think that's what we started to realize over the last couple of years, because I, I will piggyback on what you said about how our mindset and our um, verbiage changed. Yeah. When we talked about, oh, yeah, we don't really want kids like yeah. we kind of gave the ca the caveat that. Uh, well, you know, if it happens, it happens or, you know, like, yeah, you know, we, we kept the door open that, you know, our mindsets could change as we get older mm -hmm. um, from our late 20s to the early 30s, which is yeah. what we're in now. And it has to a certain yeah. to a certain extent, like we have 
continue to get a little bit more comfortable with the idea of actually having kids Mm -hmm. and, you know, not just being uncles and aunts, but Mm -hmm. actually having kids for ourselves. Um, But I don't think we ever really were truly 100 percent on board and saying, hey, yeah, this is what we want to do. Mm -hmm. But as time grew and we just got deeper into our relationship and we've grown older and Mm -hmm. a little bit more wiser with the years, we have just said, hey, you know what? If it happens, it happens, you know, and that's just God's will. And that's where we're at. And I think the timing is pretty beautiful because I told you maybe the day after that we got the the news that you were pregnant. The storyline is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. The storyline that we have developed over these 12, 13 years is pretty remarkable. And I really don't want to take that for granted Mm -hmm. because... You know, we've taken our time, we've stayed patient, and we've just let things happen organically all yeah. throughout the entire process from just dating to getting engaged, then taking our time with the engagement to marriage, and also the move down here to Miami to just, you know, up uproot everything that we knew up in Maryland mm-hmm. to come down here and start a new life with no friends, no family, and, you know, creating those relationships of friends and and family down Mm -hmm. here and having a dog yeah like like we just took our time in the organic process of true love just manifesting year after year has put us in this position where we're at right now where god is saying you guys are ready for something big yeah you guys are ready for something different something something so new something that you guys haven't experienced yet. Right. And you guys are, y'all are ready for it. Yeah. And I think that was beautifully said. I think we as humans, like we, we think that we're supposed to be in control of everything. Or we think that everything is supposed to go a certain way in order for certain things to happen or to have happiness or to have joy and stuff like that. But the true joy comes from God and God knows when we are truly prepared for something, Mm -hmm. you know, he's not going to, throw something on your plate that he doesn't think that you can, that you can handle. And clearly like we are equipped to be parents. And I think that we're going to be great parents. And And he wants that for us. And he wants that for us. And so he knows that we can add value to the world and to a child being born. Yeah. Yeah. And so it was maybe something that I was always nervous about in the past, but you know, after we prayed about it and you know, I kind of like, as we were, gearing up to getting that test and I just started to change my mindset I think that you know we're gonna be just fine we're Mm -hmm. gonna do we're gonna do great we're gonna do the best that we can because nobody's perfect so we're gonna be the best parents that we can be with the tools that we have um I'm interested to see how the pregnancy is gonna go because you know it is a process from what I hear you know all of my sisters except one have a kid or kids with the nest and you know just seeing their experiences i'm like lord (laughs) (laughs) it's gonna be interesting and Um, i'm already you know i'm already experiencing symptoms and things like that it was like as soon as i got the confirmation my body just like completely shifted and maybe it was like my body knew but it just needed that like that actual confirmation confirmation to be like all right we go we we in go mode we in mommy mode and my body has literally changed just over the past few weeks. Yeah, and so I think this is something we'll touch on in, in the next series, but you know, just the, how things just change in an instant right. and being able to adapt to that because a lot of people, they, they always highlight like the beautiful things and the beautiful parts of pregnancy. And I think that that's great, but like people don't often share the hardships and the challenges and mm-hmm. also like how your lives just completely switch in right. an instant. And that takes mental uh, preparedness that takes physical preparedness that takes spiritual preparedness it takes a lot because things just kind of switch and the things that you could do yesterday you can't do today the things that you can eat yesterday you can't eat today the you know just little things like that your body how your body responds to things your sensitivity and you know um your partner learning how to be there for you as right. your, as your body is changing as your psyche is changing like it it's a it's a lot it's a a transformation and so i think that's a great word yeah and i will say like i'm glad that you touched on all those different points because 
that's what we're going to share in this series yeah. where we're having just authentic conversation between mm-hmm. us and we're going to document our experience along the way and touch on every single point that you mentioned yeah and you know the good the bad the the changes you know future plans yeah even talk about how we want to set up our son or daughter's yeah future with yeah. like investments and stuff like that just like setting this setting this little human this our our little human up in a in the best possible way and like you know we're going to touch on so many things and yeah. also touch on the relationship between us yeah. along the way too i think that's very important yeah because, of course you know us being together for as long as we have we have gotten in such a comfortable space where we know each other we mm-hmm. know each other for mm-hmm. sure but now with a baby on the way and after we have a baby our lives like you said has transformed yeah and we have to stay consistent with the love that we have for each other and embrace the the changes embrace that the are, change embrace yeah. the changes that are going to come with parenthood yeah but also continue to have that intimacy and that that love for each mm-hmm. other along the way of this pregnancy and even after the baby's born for yeah. 18 20 years <laughs> and, <both. laughs> and, both. And, and and having patience and patience, you know, and patience patience and so um i think that this is a beautiful way and a great way to to kind of wrap it up i think um, so too i think you know this first episode in this series was just more so to have a conversation about just sharing the news and what the first few weeks have been like in our experience, you know? And so, and I think, uh, what, what we're going to do with the many videos that we're going to have about this in the future, this series is going to be more detailed as far as pinpointing a certain subject of what we're going to be talking about, like changes to the body or, the relationship between me and Jen through this process Mm -hmm. and we're going to just talk about a specific point so that we can really just dive into one thing. Yeah. And you know what else I think would be really cool? I think that at the end of each episode of the series, we should just talk about one like high or low that we experienced throughout the pregnancy, like that week or something. So, um, you know, for starters, I'll say, the first like few weeks since us finding out has been um, a roller coaster just between the morning sickness, the nausea, right. the food aversion. Like, my goodness, I don't have any desire to like eat any meat. Yeah. But the the one thing that I wanted to, to point out, because, of course, like your body, you know, our my body is changing and I have a lot of hormones and things like that. So I guess it's not even like a high or low. It's just a funny story. <laughs> So on um, Thursday, my work week has been really crazy. And so I was like, you know what? I have planned it. I was like, when I leave work, I'm going to stop. I'm going to pick up a frozen DiGiorno pizza. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to pop that bad boy in the oven. So (laughs) by the time I get out the shower, the pizza is piping hot. I'm bloated. I am hungry. I'm going to lay in bed. I'm going to enjoy this pizza. And then I'm going to be on my merry way and go to sleep and have a great night. Uh-huh. The pizza comes out. I'm ready. I got my robe <laughs> on. I'm like, oh, I'm about to smash this cheese pizza. The pizza was bad. It the, was deflated. The, the crust dr- was I, bad. I literally walk <laughs> in the door. I don't know where I was coming from. From the gym, maybe? I think, yeah, you were coming from I was from coming from the gym. The gym. I come in and it's done. And I'm like. Oh, you get a thick crust? You said you order flatbread? <laughs> I was like, no, it's <laughs> supposed to be rising crust. And then I cut into the dough and it was not good. Oh, that joint was flat. I it was, was flat. That joint so... never rose. And, and the dough was like brown. The like dough t- was brown. I was like, yeah, this is this ain't good. You- I cried and I was so <laughs> upset <laughs> because I really wanted that pizza. <laughs> Um, and I was just in bed crying over DiGiorno pizza. Yeah, and that's when I knew, like, the hormones were kicking in because 
my lady, my wife, she she's a tough cookie. She's I a really tough cookie. I really wanted. I had my heart but set the on emotions, that pizza. The emotions were flowing off a of DiGiorno pizza. Man, wow. Okay. I was heartbroken. I was ready. I don't think you understood. I was ready to smash that pizza. I bet you were. I bet so, you were. I thought that that was something that would be just hilarious to share because. Yeah. And, and I was brokenhearted over some seven ninety nine pizza. And I think <laughs> what you said is a good way to, you know, highlighting a high or a low um, yeah. every week. And I would say for me, and that was a funny story. Mine isn't really too funny, but mine is like, I would say a change for me this week has been like, man, like really registering for me the changes that you have to go through Mm -hmm. and that I really don't have to. Yeah. And it kind of sucks because I feel like, and you, you had even mentioned like Mm -hmm. how my life still is kind of the same and your life has completely changed. Yeah. And, you know, trying to be there for you during this very new experience for you that, you know, it's going to be here for nine more months. Um, but you know, t- these first couple of weeks of you, your body changing the things you can't eat anymore and you can't drink anymore. Like it's, there's so many things that you ca- have to avoid or have to be cautious of now. Yeah. And me, on the other hand, I can go about my merry way and do yeah. what the hell I want to do. Yeah. Um, and trying to be there for you and also just trying to, you know, process it myself to say like, wow, okay. Yeah. Th- like she's changing. Like, yeah. And, you know, it's it's a beautiful change and yeah. it's a blessing and everything like that. But, you know, just change can be hard. Changes. Yeah. Change takes time for yep. the body to and the mind to really register and, you know, and really adapt. adapt. To um, those changes. Yeah. Definitely when you know a person for as long as you have, you know, yeah. and then seeing it completely change on the drop of a dime. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. So I would say that that was a. Uh, not a high or a low, but I would say a just something you've noticed. A valid yeah. point yeah. for this episode. Cool. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, I look forward to the next episode and what we're gonna touch on then. Yeah. Um and we're gonna have a playlist. All the pregnancy videos, this series is going to be in a playlist. If you wanna just search just for the pregnancy videos, we'll have that playlist ready for you. It's gonna be up here or it's gonna <laughs> or be maybe down here. Maybe so. down here. I, <laughs> I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> you know, I don't know how YouTube works too too much but you can be able to search for the pregnancy series and you'll be able to see all those videos yeah um, but then also look at all our other content too about relationships about helping with all conversations of growth yeah. and also check out the bloopers as well because those can be hilarious <laughs> those could be very funny um but yeah we're gonna wrap it up here i think yeah. this is a beautiful first episode mm-hmm. where we're just having pretty much an intro to pregnancy yeah Enjoy the journey. Yep. Enjoy the journey. This is what we say at the end of every episode. So my name is Shane. I'm Jen. And this is The Yambors. Bye. Have a good one, guys.